just went out Mickey, little Harry who's just had a bit of a turn, he has a tree breathing fits every so often. The boys were all over me here this afternoon because they can smell, they can smell a couple of labradoodles while I was on the job today and uh, they don't think they think much of it. But anyhow, what I was going to do a quick here, this one I Mick from Swenson's mowing and grounds maintenance. Just bought myself a new set of boots the other day. Now, I like these ones, they're steel caps, and I like to zip up the side. So, straight into that. There's no fart around. You just do the laces up to how you like it. Slide your foot straight in, and zip that up and in that Velcro on there. These are Blundstones, an Australian made boot. And Andrew Twiggy Forest has just taken over the company and everything's manufactured in Australia, which I really like. So these are Blundstone work boots. They're about 125 Australian dollars. Uh, that's what you've got to pay for a good set of work boots at least. So they're probably towards the better price. But uh, you can clearly see Blundstone on there. And I've got about 12 months out of a set of work boots, depending on how wet the weather is. Now, on this here, these are the latest thing I've got into. Becoming a bit of an old hippo on me, hippie in me older age. These are uh, bamboo socks. Now, they're probably the best socks I've ever worn. As in, you don't sweat much in them. And they don't have fluff all over them. And I'm, I'm, I'm wrapped. I'm not even wrapped, I'm wrapped. So, yeah. So... I don't know where they're made. Hopefully they're made in Australia. I'll have to have a look. I like to try and buy stuff made in Australia, but there they are. They're Blundstone boots. And good sole on them. Been in amongst a fair bit of crap today, as you can see. Good grippy sole, nice and soft. The Olivers I had before this, but uh, where I bought these, and I'm happy to keep buying Blundstones. Olivers are made in Australia too. And uh, like I say, these are completely Australian owned by Twiggy Forest. He's a big mining magnate and he's putting his money where his mouth is back into Australian made stuff. So I'm wrapped. Swan me. From Hey Frankie. Frankie boy. Look at him. What a little beauty. What a little beauty. This little fella is pug crossed. Miniature Foxy. Little Harry's. Harry! Here's Eagle and little Harry's uh, fawn pug cross Tibetan Spaniel. This little fella's taken after Foxy with his mind. This little bloke here, probably got one of the most soft natured dogs. He's got a pug nature on him. I don't know what Tibetan Spaniels are like, but this little fella's a bit longer nose than the pug. But he's got a real little pug personality, so he's got a beautiful little personality. He hates anyone touching him.